so one of the last things I want to show for this series of tutorials is um, probably folders uh, to organize your layers a little bit, especially on bigger projects that have like uh, sometimes some of my illustrations get upwards of 40 layers onto a project and instead of having to scroll everywhere, uh, having folders to keep your layers in is uh, a little bit more practical. Another benefit of using folders is that uh, instead of having to go through and select each layer to apply a change, um, you can select, basically do a group select of a bunch of different layers to perform functions like transform or different filters to. So uh, to show that off in the bottom right, there's a little folder icon. You click it, it will add a folder. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the color layers for the ice into this folder. Um, to make it a little bit easier, you can hit the gear icon and rename the folder to whatever you want. Um, usually I don't have too many folders in a piece, uh, but sometimes it's easier to have it named so you know what, what um, remember for future purposes, what's in a folder. So basically you click and hold on whichever layer you want to move and then you drag it into the folder uh, the, the inking on this can also go in this folder i think um that layer doesn't have anything on it so i can get rid of it and this was just my color swatch so that can stay out uh, but this is convenient because uh, you can change the blending mode through all of this to like multiply at any of these. Um, pass through is the default, which basically means that um, all of these layers are recognized as separate. Uh, if you put it on normal mode, you can draw over it as if it was just one singular layer. I think the changes apply to every single layer that is in there. Uh, but pass through is a good one just to leave a default. Um, you don't need to mess with any of the blending modes if you don't want to, but this is particularly helpful if, say, you have this shape, you have the ink, you have the colors on separate layers, and you just need to like move it around on the canvas. Uh, you can select the folder itself and then use transform tools on it and it will move the entire thing instead of just all the separate layers. Uh, you can also close folders by clicking on the folder icon and that shortens up the distance you have to scroll or anything on the layer menu.